Hey, Lay Miz! Lay Miz! Those miserable lesbians. It's me! Why you watch the, the greatest version of it? You know, the version that every comment said was the best vocal performance, which was the movie with Hugh Jackman and great Hugh singers Jackman. like Russell Crowe and Sasha Baron Cohen and such. If only Russell Crowe had an album. But uh, now, someone on Patreon, Eleanor, requests we watch the 25th anniversary concert. But we back here, we back here with the queen, the young Switzer. The OG, Wait, the Danny B. I don't see her. Lay Miz is fantastic, and I think this concert version is going to be fantastic. I've never seen this version, um, but from the concert productions of musicals that I've seen so far, like Company um, at the Kennedy Center and Sweeney Todd at the Lincoln Center um, and the Rent. What anniversary it was for performance of it? But concert productions <laughs> are fantastic, so I think this is gonna be really great. Apparently, this stars um, Nick Jonas. <laughs> this came out in 2010, so that was like the peak of the Jonas Brothers fame. I know, like, awesome, loves him some Nick Jonas. No, my sister. It's also around the time that the um, Lena's movie came out. Didn't the movie come out like, like 12 or 13 or something? Cameron McIntosh. He's the dude that said some stupid shit about um, how it's a good idea to reduce an orchestra. Oh, this is... Yeah, I'm obsessed already. This is looking wild. Oh, look at these names. These are such musical theater names. Look at all these prisoners that have microphones in front of them. Just look like a bunch of dads waiting for a subway. When I get free, you won't see me here for dust. These prisoners got some fresh... Did you see that? <laughs> that was a line bro beard. Is this a? Uh, is this Russell Crowe? <gasps> ah, I love him. It means you get your yellow ticket of leave. You are a thief. I stole a loaf of bread. He looks like a like a black sitcom dad from the eighties. <laughs> he looks like a uh, Aaron Burr. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that because he's black. He's like one of the great like very like performers on in like musical theater he played sweeney todd off broadway oh he did a couple years ago I, I didn't get to see him but i really wanted to i can't imagine sweeney todd being black i can't imagine a black person cooking people up into meat pies that's some white people stuff all of these orchestrations the oboe and the cellos i like how destroyed they made him look in the movie though remember oh yeah his he hairline like came just... back like, remember his hairline was oh, falling? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope it's for this one, too. Yo. Dude, this orchestration is amazing. And the night is called out there. Looks like a male guy. Remember how this dude sounded in the movie? Bread to make you strong. There is bread to make you strong. It sounded like he had bread in his mouth <laughs> when he was singing that. I just looked up the conductor for this production, um, and his Wikipedia <laughs> says... David Charles Abel is recognized as an authoritative interpreter of the musicals of Stephen Sondheim. <laughs> this is really good though. I'm, I love the strings and like... This is already so much better than any production of this show. It's already so much more memorable. <laughs> Leah Salonga plays um, her character in this. Who? Leah Salonga. Who's that? We were, um, I, we talked oh, about her before. Uh, the Mu Mulan? Yeah. Mulan, Jasmine. Yeah. Uh, this, this dude needs to evade the authorities. He's been standing here singing for a long time. Man, those nostrils are flaring. Reptilian. Man, we need to go to a show one day. I've never, I've only been to Schoolhouse Rock at, at middle school, and that's it. Will you tux it? No, I've wear the same thing I'm wearing now. Are you supposed to dress up when you see, uh, musicals? I mean, like, the etiquette, like, does sort of, like, demand that you dress up, but honestly, nowadays, people dress a lot more casual. Like, I dress pretty casually when I go to the theater, um, like, on matinees. So if I rolled up- I mean, up... not to say that I go to the theater all that often, especially now. Yeah. So if I rolled up in a jersey and a gold chain and headband, uh, <laughs> what- would they would they not let me in or would they be like uh like probably but maybe more out of the racism <laughs> than the dress 
Yo, they got a full choir back there too. And they're in t-shirts. They got on some Hot Topic style graphic tees. They definitely sell that shirt at Hot Topic. Is that her? <gasps> there she is. There she is. These are some snitches. Look at these haters. But I am glad that I saw the movie before this because I feel like this isn't really like showing the plot really. Like, like I feel like I'd be lost as to like what exactly is happening. There was a time when love was blind. You know what they say, love is blind. I dreamed that God would be forgiving. This is pain. I dreamed that God would be forgiving? That's like a, that's an emo lyric right there, man. This is just miserable, man. <laughs> Every, everyone is miserable. Sad yeah. niggas. <laughs> I've been there, I'm surrounded by these sad niggas. People need a dairy queen in their life. I know, imagine if they, if she had a blizzard to drink after this, all would be good. <laughs> this old lady need hair for? To make that Brazilian weave, bro. Why do I know her? Oh my God, who is she in? This is the gentleman caller. What you've got. Just shows him the Pokemon card collection. It's the same with the tart as it is with a grocer. Yes, horns. Go Something horns. Fire. Hugh Jackman, he could not sing or perform as good, but he felt more, I don't know. Because, like, this guy's supposed to be, like, a big, strong guy. I don't see this guy as, like, a, as, like, a big, strong guy. Yeah. But he, but he fits the role so much better. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm just talking about, like, the look, like, of Hugh Jackman. Yeah. Like... Child will want for nothing. Good monsieur, you come from God in heaven. And none will ever harm Cosette as long as I am living. That's a heavy uh, promise to make. I can never make that promise to somebody. It's like, I can't ensure that. Is that little Cosette? Yeah! It's weird that she's like the cover of the musical. He's from Bake Off! Bake Off? Great British Bake Off. Oh, I never seen that. That's something else black people don't do. He's got like elf ears. The funny thing is, I don't have to try hard to look like this. There are lots of tricks he knows. How it all increased. She looks like a garden gnome. Oh, Nick Jonas. Oh, there's our man. Leaders of the land, where are the swells who run this show? Okay. What are the biggest Jonas Brothers songs? Carlo. I just know all of them. I don't really know Let what's popular. Again. I'm hurt. Face. Ain't the world a remarkable place? Men like me. Look at his outfit, dude. This is fly. Oh my god, his voice. Where did Nick Jonas run off to? <laughs> what was the one where he had... They were talking about the one brother who... who was diabetic. Oh, uh, that was uh, a little bit longer. <laughs> what was the one where he was like, see? Baby, can't you see? This is really good vocals, but but I just, I miss, I miss Russell Crowe. No. <laughs> I miss his, Lord. No. Oh, all no. the stars. No. Norm Lewis supremacy. Man is holding a lightsaber. Each in your season returns and returns. It's weird how I actually care about this character. Because Russell Crowe sang so badly that it, I was just laughing at everything he said. <laughs> it but, took away all the, the intimidation. But you really feel like this guy, he just has a very strict set of morals. That everyone must be under God and must follow the law. Like It sounded like he was stepping on Legos each time he was singing. <laughs> No way to go. I just remember the Russell Crowe note. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna edit <laughs> Russell Crowe's note over top of this. I'm gonna cut out his audio and put Russell Crowe over top of it. He's so good. I love him. I love him so much. Why would you ruin this? <laughs> Are these the people that everyone thinks is gay for each other? See, he played Phantom. He looks like a. 
the pilot in the new Star Wars movies. <laughs> oh, um... Poe. Poe. Poe, yeah. A ghost you said. <laughs> He's trying so hard. The jaw motions I had never seen him do before. I know on Broadway in like 2011 there was this production of how to succeed in business without really trying and it had Daniel Radcliffe starring as the oh, main what? guy and mm. then for a little while they had Darren Chris in the lead role and I think the other guy was Nick Jonas. It's nine in the afternoon. That's all I see when <laughs> I see it. He does look like Brendan Deary. <laughs> My BTS bag. Oh what yeah, New got the BTS meal so he has the BTS bag. Butter, like I'm gonna sell it for three million dollars. <laughs> okay Nick. He's doing good, but you could just tell he's trying really hard. He wants to hit those those Jonas Brothers pitches. He wants to hit hard. Hard. This child is older than me. That child is like in his twenties. Like now we're at the yeah. Yeah, now. I was about to say he's doing a really good child acting job. Let us welcome in Kalali with courage and cheer. Let us take to the street. You feeling uh patriotic? To be oh, in yeah. French sometimes? France. For sometimes France. For sometimes France. Yeah! Croissant! Is it time? Oh! I have a Chipotle bag. <laughs> wave this McDonald's <laughs> napkin for France. Let's, oh, I gotta do it in view. <laughs> do you hear the people sing? They're singing Trap Queen! I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello? Since you're pretty as soon as you came in the door. All and several live, will you stand up and take your chance? She looked like her name is Mackenzie. She looked like she played like the sidekick to like the evil like a uh, like bully girl in like a Disney movie. Like you know like the the mean bully girl. She'd be like the sidekick that's secretly nice. It's like you know what you were pretty cool all along Jillian or something. <laughs> oh man she's in the simp zone. She is simping. I hate these faces Nick Jonas is making. I think he's trying a little too much to be like a young, innocent, like, schoolboy. You see this? It just looks like he's singing. The way he was singing, Jonas Brothers. He's doing the... He'd have to... Yeah. Yeah. Burning up for you, baby. <laughs> How many songs have you sung? I know all their songs, dude. My sister played them for five years. All day, every day, they are committed to my memory forever. And that's it. That's how the musical ends. Now, as you know, it's about to get to sad. We don't have to watch the sad part. We don't have to. You be cutting off musicals when they get sad? Oh, yeah, we're done. I have a letter, monsieur. It's addressed to your daughter, Cosette. You thick. People in the comments were saying that this girl looks like you in the last in that in the last video. What? I don't know. I mean I kind of see it. They better kill him right now. Boy climbing the barricade! That's a boy. And you will keep me safe. I mean that's a fire thing to say. If I could close your wounds with words of love. But I'm still shot. If I could close your wounds. With words of love. You know it'd be like that. You know, everyone's dying and everyone's sad. I love when you can clearly hear, like, the strings in a musical. Yeah, mm -hmm. instead of them uh, cutting the strings. <laughs> like they do for all the tour productions. They like just... They reduce the band. Dude, this is triumphant. Okay, lighting. Look at it. They're just standing there. This is how wars are fought. That was really good, man. Dude, these orchestrations are like so emotional. Look at him. A moment of sympathy, then he kills himself. At least he's consistent. He's like, you know what? I just let a criminal go. Time to die. This symbolizes he's dying, but he's just standing there. I wonder why they specifically wanted us to watch this version. Is there like a normal Broadway version that's like recorded out there? Not to my knowledge. Hmm. There might be. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not that invested in the layman's 
like fandom. Just sings like the dude from that Sunday feeling. I don't wanna lose you, but maybe I can't be there every time you sleep. Yeah, Nick sang the song that was like, I eat cheese, but only on pizza. Or sometimes on a homemade quesadilla. <laughs> oh no! Otherwise, it smells like feet to me and I. I really <laughs> like it when the moon looks like a I know this. And I love you know it when this. you say it's a dream. Introducing me. My homie sang that song to look to woman. He busted out an acoustic guitar. Oh my gosh. I heard it once. That freaked me out. I thought they were all on wheelchairs for a sec. I can't stand the thought of losing you. Away to Nadia. Do you think I don't know? That's how you say his name? To Nadia? That's. I thought it was Threnadier. Here comes a prince. There goes a Jew. This one's a queer, but what can you do? Hey, it's um all the things that I am. I was about to say that, but I felt like I was like, man, that's. I'm, I was like, I'm gonna let her say that. <laughs> How old is he supposed to be at this point? Old. They should have like put a wig on him or something. His pants are really high, dude. I wasted pants, say. man, for the win. There, I wasted. That's not the way. That's not the ninja way. Yes, it is. <laughs> I am wearing high-waisted pants right now as we speak. Somehow write that into a law. And I will stand in my high-waisted pants. <laughs> no, sir! You cannot <laughs> This our rights as... Blood-bleeding Americans. <laughs> Blood-bleeding Americans? I don't know, what do Republicans say? It's red-blooded Americans? Yeah, that. <laughs> blood, blood bleeding Americans? There she is! I lay down my life at your feet. I like when everyone like sings in this melody when they're about to die. This is yeah. the death melody. It's... Lovely. When did they lock him up in, in heaven still? Which chains will never yeah, bind still, you. Oh, Javert will find him. Even after he <laughs> gives up his search, he'll still be on the search for him in the afterlife. <laughs> Javert's waiting for him in the afterlife? I wonder <laughs> if there are lame as fan fictions that ship Jean Valjean and Javert. Oh, you know there is. You, dude, he was hunting. He's been hunting this man. He's been hunting a man for many years. That's kind of gay when you really think about it. He stole the bread, he stole his heart. <laughs> Lame is! Lame is! Oh, she cried! She cried! She cried! She's like, yeah! That was good! Yeah! That was tight. The large scale, oh, it was so grand, and I think this is like the pinnacle of like art. I oh, think yeah. All musicals that are worthy of a full-on stage concert with a full orchestra and choir and cast and that lighting should, yeah, I think that's the highest honor a musical can receive. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we didn't see this first because I would have been 100% lost. Imagine yeah. if you didn't know the plot and you just seen this stuff happening. Like, I wouldn't even be sure who died because they just kind of faded away. Like, I really enjoyed this. The vocals were top-notch and orchestra was just so amazing. Oh yeah, the orchestrations? The orchestrations. Stunning. Stunning. So good. As always, you know, Disney owns Hamilton. As always. Till this day. Probably <laughs> for the breakers. rest of our lives. Listen to Breakers? Listen to Breakers. Stay Fly. Miss Les Mis, Miserable Lesbians. This was... <laughs>